So, before we break for lunch, let me give you some more information about uh, the proceedings we are going to take here during our uh, two weeks of school. Uh, the first one, what we decided to do here was to divide uh, the themes of uh, climate change in five major parts. The first one is the observations and future projections uh, based on the science base. Uh, and then uh, linked to that, uh, the second part is impacts. So uh, how the monsoons and the uh, El Nino sudden oscillation, annular modes, and others are going to be changed during uh, future scenarios of climate change. Uh, the third part is the vulnerability. So impacts in urban areas, uh, water resources, uh, economy, uh, human health. So they are, we are trying to cover all these parts of vulnerability. The fourth one is adaptation and mitigation. Uh, also, uh, is going to be uh, talk a little bit about agriculture, how it has to forest and other land use, uh, implementation of opportunities, and so on. And the fifth one, uh, which is the, the last two days of our school, uh, we are going to discuss the Paris Agreement. And uh, uh, if the 1.5 degrees is a reasonable limit. Tomo uh, today in the morning, Pedro has already touched a little bit about that and say that oh, it's not possible. We don't know. It's up to you to uh, decide if it is or not. So we are, ha we are having two uh, important researchers. Uh, one of them, Ines Camillone, for instance, is really right now working on the special report from IPCC which is going to uh, deal with this uh, theme here, okay? So, uh, for the observation for future projections, we have three experts and very famous scientists in the area. One of them is Jose Marengo, which is here, uh, already keen to give his lectures in the afternoon. <laughs> and uh, he's going actually to tackle the, the science basis of the IPCC. You see, uh, what we decided here is to try to cover, in a very broader view, uh, the three uh, IPCC reports, the last three, uh, three, the fifth report. So in that one, and uh, Professor Newton just saw us, you have the first one is the uh, scientific basis, the second one is adaptation, and the third one is mitigation. So that's why uh, the, the classes are being covered here. So this, uh, for today and tomorrow, uh, we'll deal with uh, Professor Jose Marengo. And uh, in the next day, uh, we have uh, some paleoclimate studies. And also, uh, Iracema Cavalcanti is uh, uh, a researcher from CPTEC. By the way, Jose Marengo is a researcher from SEMADEN, the two institutions we are going to visit next week. I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes. Uh, in terms of vulnerability, we have a Professor uh, Maria de Fatima. is a researcher here at the Department of Atmospheric Science and a specialist in the pollution and the urban areas. Uh, we have uh, Gerardo Perillo and uh, Estef Umblok. The Gerardo is an uh, Argentinian uh, researcher. Uh, he's going to talk about natural and managed resources and systems. And uh, Stefan uh, comes from uh, the UNESCO in terms of water and the government. Uh, so it's going to be very nice indeed. So for the vulnerability, we have a Professor Weber Amaral. And um, Weber Amaral is from the agriculture faculty in the Piracicaba, uh, I told you earlier. And, uh, but he's going to talk about food security and food production systems. Very nice indeed. And uh, Professor uh, Maria Carmen Lemons is from Michigan University. So she's going to talk a little bit about human health, uh, human being security, all of them linked to uh, climate change and, ki and how climate change is influence uh, these things. And the fourth one is adaptation mitigation. Uh, we are being covered by Edwin Castellanos from uh, Guatemala, and uh, Jose Paruelo, Argentina, and uh, Christopher Cutana from Oxford University. Uh, they are really going to cover a little bit about the ecosystems, the forests, uh, adaptations, and, uh, and also discuss a little bit about uh, 
the, the discussion about climate change nowadays. And for the last two uh, classes, uh, we are going to have the debate about the Paris Agreement. And uh, we have the Inés Camiglioni, which is a uh, uh, researcher, Argentinian researcher from the uh, University of Buenos Aires. And she's uh, nowadays involved with the IPCC special report of uh, 1.6 degrees. And uh, Hom Chi is a former uh, IAI uh, director. And uh, he also been quite involved with this kind of thing. OK, this is going to be uh, our first week. And uh, today, we start in the afternoon with the Professor Jose Marengo classes. Up to tomorrow, the whole day, uh, we are going to get uh, really bored about that. But uh, <laughs> he accepted. He's a very good friend of mine. Now it's a great Thank guy. <laughs> I invite Marengo. And uh, Wednesday, we have Cristiano Chiesi from Paleoclimate, and then Iracema. Uh, up to Thursday, then we have Maria de Fatima, pollution uh, in the afternoon, and then we have Stefan. Stefan is going to give us uh, a talk, not well, our talk, but uh, by Skype. So he couldn't manage to come to Brazil because of his numerous uh, uh, difficult agenda, but he's going to talk with us by Skype. It's everything ready. I hope it works. Anyway, Gerardo is going to talk uh, for us in the uh, Friday, uh, and they, uh, we start our poster session in the afternoon uh, after five, uh, 3 uh, p.m., and then uh, we continue up to Saturday. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more. In the second week, uh, we have the other members, and uh, on Wednesday, I'm also to uh, going to talk about that, uh, we have our visit to Semaden and City Tech, so we are going to spend the whole day uh, out of uh, USP. And you continue and finish by uh, Saturday 15. Okay? So, Semaden and the CPTEC, they are key institutions in the state of Sao Paulo. Uh, which they are conducting uh, climate change research and also policy applications. Uh, for the Semaden, Semaden is National Center for National Disaster Monitoring and Alerts. Uh, Professor Jose Marengo comes from there. Uh, the, the basic idea is to monitoring of natural hazards and risk areas in Brazilian municipi municipalities susceptible uh, to the occurrence of natural disasters. Research and technological innovations that may contribute to the improvement of early warning systems. And the ultimate goal is to reducing the number of fatalities and material damages through the country. This is the situation room, and uh, we are, you are going to visit and I'm going to stay with you, actually. Uh, and they'll see uh, what they're doing there uh, this last past of a year. And uh, we are going to hear more about SEMADEN. They, they are preparing uh, a seminar and talking about the institution, things like that. The second one, uh, this is going to happen in the morning. So after we leave uh, SEMADEN, uh, half an hour after, uh, around half an hour, uh, we are stopping for lunch. I'm just going to show you that. And then after that, we are going to CPTEC, which is the Center for Weather Forecasting and Climate Studies. As uh, Professor Newton has already said, uh, actually, the CPTEC is the first uh, center that has uh, built a supercomputer uh, in order to uh, provide the country with the state of the art of new weather and climate forecast and have the scientific and technological capacity to continuously improve uh, uh, these forecasts for the benefits of society. So several of the researchers are or have already been involved in the IPCC report, and they are currently de developing the Brazilian climate model that should contribute to the next IPCC report, uh, AR6. In fact, Professor Marengo was uh, uh, a researcher at the CPTEC and move it to Semaden afterwards. Uh, and Iracema Cavalcanti is one that has contributed also to the IR5 of IPCC report. And uh, she's going to give you uh, some classes uh, on Wednesday. So it's very nice. It's a nice countryside, nice view. You can see the mountains uh, at the back. It's really, you're going to enjoy uh, these two visits. 
Okay. Uh, for this visit, uh, we are going to, is going to, it was planned for the Wednesday, July 12th. And uh, we are uh, check our attendance by that. Well, buses will uh, departure from the Golden Tower, Sao Paulo Hotel at 6.20 in the morning. So everybody that is in this, in the hotel, uh, get the bus, and the bus is coming to here, to the IAG, or in Portuguese, IAG Institute, uh, to collect the other people that's not in the hotel. And the, uh, we are actually to leave uh, precisely at 6 uh, 45 in the morning so it will take uh, it's not São José dos Campos where uh, Semadem uh, is located it's not far it's uh, what 100 kilometers something like that but with the traffic in Sao Paulo uh, it's going to take us more than one hour so it certainly is going to take us between uh, one and a half almost two hours to get there depending on the traffic we, we may be lucky, then you can get there earlier. But uh, yeah, we're just planning to get there around 9 a.m. Okay, in the morning. So uh, please bring with you some IDs. You know, uh, CPTEC and uh, SEMADEN, they are federal government uh, institutions. So usually they require us to have some kind of IDs for the Brazilians uh, and uh, for the foreigners. Please bring your passport, okay? And uh, also wear your badges or the name tag all the times because they will know that you are part of the school. They are waiting for us. So please bring your tags. Uh, even for us to communicate, and uh, it's impossible for me to recognize and know your name. But if you have the tag, I just look that and, aha, uh -huh, Ismael, Isabel. <laughs> you see? Well. Uh, another thing is uh, they have some restrictions about the, the clothes. So uh, not shorts or uh, sandals and things like that, please. Uh, so be, be aware of this kind of thing. It's quite important. I'll leave this uh, presentation actually in our uh, material database so you can download afterwards. So uh, after we leave Semaden, which is going to be around 12, uh, uh, PM. Oh. Uh, we are going to have a lunch in this uh, nice place. It's a post to a restaurant Arcoiris. It's in the highway. Uh, so, uh, for those who are being uh, granted, uh, have some grants from FAPESP, and uh, you, you have to, uh, you will receive 40 uh, reales. But you have to carry some money, or you can also pay with cash, debit card, debit or credit card. Uh, they have different kind of foods. Even they have a McDonald's. Well, I know young people like McDonald's. Well, they have a McDonald's over there. I would suggest you to eat some food, the real food, <laughs> not the burger. But you can decide. Inside, they, they have uh, pasta, it's Italian uh, food. They have also food by weight. So you eat as much as you want, but you also pay. <laughs> so be careful the amount of food you have. Okay, it's a nice choice. A lot of things you can do. Okay, uh, you have received our general instructions and guides. So I'm not going over over the, the whole material, but uh, there you can find uh, how to get from the airport to the hotel. Now you are here, so you are succeed. Congratulations, and, uh, but be careful that there you also give you some hints how to go back to the airport. So that's important. I'm going to talk about that. Uh, we have also information about your hotel, the accommodations. Uh, we had some registrations, the Wi-Fi here at uh, IAG, your responsibility, meals, visits, social activities, uh, transportation. Uh, some general information about Brazil, about uh, food and water, current language, uh, Sao Paulo city, and uh, so everything. So it is there. I mean, if you haven't time or didn't saw that, did see that before you came, now you have that uh, printed. So have read, careful, see what's the details 
uh, if it provides for you. You try to cover everything. Certainly, it's not everything is there. So you can ask us uh, during this couple of days, uh, during the course. Okay? And uh, it is there as well, but it's just reinforced. Uh, here at the IAG, you have the Wi-Fi everywhere. So in the, if you are in the bathroom or in the kitchen or whatever you are, uh, it is going to work. So this is the username, is the name of our school, and the password is the name of our school at 2000, 2017. Okay? Quite easy. I'm sure you can get contacted to anyone. And um, I know that not, uh, probably not everybody brought uh, a notebook or don't have a smartphone. It's quite difficult nowadays, but it is possible. So uh, you don't have a large uh, free time here, 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 here. So uh, we provide a room with 10 PCs. It's in the main room, and uh, when you arrive, if you go uh, the ramp downstairs, the next floor, uh, it is there. Uh, you can use the name of Curso 2 and the password the SPSAS. And uh, from 12 to 2 p.m., the room is going to be open. You just go there, access. Uh, it is all linked to the internet. You can access and do whatever you like. Okay? Uh, see that all participants have to uh, uh, attend. The activities we have planned, particularly those have been paid by our sponsors. So be around, including the, the visits in the Semade in Sepitec in July 12. Uh, always wear your uh, badge uh, inside the IAG building. And uh, you see, you have received a very nice uh, mug. Uh, but it's not just for you to put in your desk and say, look, I was in the school. Oh, OK. Uh, in fact, it's for you to use, uh, really, to, in order to we try to minimize the waste of uh, plastic cups and the sustainability and that preserve our global, uh, our world, and then to prevent and um, mitigate the climate change. That's why you are here. So please. Bring with you. Of course, if you forgot or you think like that, we can provide some cups. But uh, it is interesting if you get used to this kind of thing. Well, fly boarding pass. You see the large letters over here? And blue uh, is really important. Uh, for those who come uh, particularly uh, by plane, Fapespe uh, really uh, needs uh, the boarding pass when you arrive and the boarding pass uh, when you leave. So this is important for our budget report. So uh, please, if you haven't given the original boarding pass to uh, Livia, do that in the first so, uh, early convenience for you, but it's really important. Okay? And uh, since it's important for us also to have the return uh, when you return home, uh, we'll try next week uh, to uh, also uh, do your check, uh, uh, your check-in uh, by internet. If it's not possible, we are going to provide you some envelopes so we can, uh, when you ha arrive at home, you do a scan of the boarding, uh, send to us by email, and put this boarding in, uh, in the envelope which is going to have uh, our address over here, and send to us, okay? Uh, it's very simple. I think you are not going to, to lose that. Don't, please. And uh, in order to have a penalty, uh, if you don't send us the original boarding, I am not going to send you the certificates. <laughs> yeah, it's important, okay? Uh, Every day we are going to have some lists, of uh, attendance lists here, so I ask you also to sign that. Uh, it's important also for our final report uh, to show that uh, you've been here and attending the course and things like that. It's not like a, a school or undergraduate course, please. 
is just because of the budget report we have to uh, give at the end of the course. Okay? And, uh, okay. So, uh, most of you that are in the hotel have come uh, with a bus. Uh, this bus you has bring you to here and it's going to take you back to the hotel every day. Okay? It's in order to facilitate for you and also for, for us to have you here uh, together all the time and not losing uh, ships around, you know, everybody here. Uh, pay attention to, to the time uh, and where the, the bus it is going to be there. Don't be late, eh, because if you miss the bus, you have to come by yourself. And there is no really uh, regular city buses around there. Uh, you have to take a taxi, so it's going to cost money, and uh, it's not easy, okay? So don't miss the bus. And uh, here's the bus timetable. Uh, as you see, today you have to wake up much earlier because this was registration and things like that. But from tomorrow up to fri uh, Friday, uh, the bus will be leaving at 8 a.m. So you have one hour more to sleep and have your breakfast. Uh, on Saturday, 8.30, so you're not saying that we are pushing too much you. You can sleep a little bit more. And uh, next Monday, uh, 7.40, because we, uh, why? Because we have uh, our official picture of the school. So uh, until we put every, everybody together and uh, smile and things like that, it takes time. So it's better if you arrive a little bit earlier. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> I've been with some uh, squeezing of water. So you see, if he's <laughs> sleepy, I just put some water in you. Okay, and uh, on that Wednesday of the next week, uh, remember the bus will be leaving 6.20, okay? And the other day is 8 a.m. So, uh, for the lunch, yes. Yeah, we ask the, the drivers to be here around uh, uh, 6 and quarter past 6 p.m. So it depends on the class itself. I mean, the, the bus can wait. Yeah, but uh, I think it's more or less like that. So we'll be arrived in the hotel. This is a counter traffic. I mean, uh, everybody tries to go to the, to the other side. It's probably by 7 we'll be at the hotel. Okay. And uh, lunchtime. So, for those of you who are uh, have some grants, uh, we ha you have received nine lunch vouchers. Okay, uh, this is going to be used for your lunch time from uh, today up to Friday, and then next week, not skip the day of our uh, uh, tourism, scientific tourism. And then, uh, again, uh, Friday and uh, Saturday. Each voucher uh, allows you one plate of self-serve lunch. So it's, you know, it's a kind of buffet. Uh, you have just one plate. But you can put as much food as you want. Or, you know, <laughs> otherwise, uh, be careful. No? Don't eat too much. But, and also one drink for the soda fountain or water. It's up to you. Is uh, the restaurant is the P is the Institute of Physics. It's quite near here. You see, we are here. Actually, we are really here. Uh, here is the main entrance, and the the restaurant is here. Uh, we can go through here, or even go through the the Physics Institute. Uh, we decide. Uh, we have our uh, volunteers and assistants here. They are going to take you there. Uh, okay, so. Uh, the voucher is already paid, so I mean, it's not included the dessert. It's up to you. I don't know if you want to, you are in diet and things like that. They said, let's not include dessert. And uh, no alcoholic beverage. Act, act, actually, nowadays at university, uh, it's prohibited to drink alcohol. So, okay. Uh, cough breaks. Cough breaks will be served, you saw uh, here, uh, besides of the auditorium. Uh, the EAG has a cafeteria uh, just uh, in the lower floor, floor. And, but uh, you, you can use it, but it's not covered by the school, so 
it's up to you. But I believe with this cough break, you don't need to eat anymore. Otherwise, you are going to leave Brazil like a ball. You know? Please. Yeah. OK? And um, so we are not going over anything else. At the hotel, for those who are staying in the hotel, uh, we decided to help you as well. So the lunch during the weekend and dinner uh, is already paid for you as well. So it's going to be served at the Mediterranean uh, restaurant over there. Uh, and uh, you will have a special meal for the USP select menu. The lunch hour is from 12 to 3 p.m. And the, the dinners are from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. So lots of time for you to have a lunch or have a dinner and uh, still rest a little bit. Okay? Uh, the breakfast there is included for all of you. So uh, enjoy the breakfast. You see the breakfast uh, starts at 6 a.m. during the weekdays, 6.30 weekend. And uh, we ask them, and they are going to start the breakfast on the July 12 at 5.30. So you can have your breakfast before you board in the, the bus, OK? So eat something, because you're not going to have time to eat during the, the trip anyway, OK? And uh, I, I hope the breakfast is OK for you, but I think so. I've been there, and uh, they have lots of priority and things like that. Uh, good things. Uh -huh. Tomorrow night, we have our uh, network dinner. Very nice. We are going to, to meet, and there's a good opportunity for you to uh, really interact outside of the school so you can be relaxed and things like that. Uh, we are going to live all together here. Uh, we have bus. We are, we are, they are going to take us to the, the restaurants. So we are probably getting there around 7, and between 9 and 9 and something, uh, we probably leaving because next day we have classes. Just like children, you know. Uh, you have to uh, go to bed early because tomorrow you have school and things like that. Yeah. But uh, you see, it's important. So uh, all the participants uh, are invited and uh, can get the transportation from IAG to the restaurant tomorrow uh, night. So uh, we will have a buffet with starters, different things. And it's a, we call it in Brazil a rodízio. The carnes. It's a kind of rotation uh, uh, beef, a bit in a steak, you know. So they, they, the cows has many parts, as you know. And uh, they used to cut different parts of the cow and offer you. So you can choose. Uh, but also, I know you can say, me, oh, but sorry, I don't eat any meat and things like that. Don't worry. And the restaurant has a very nice uh, buffet of salads, vegetables, and cheese, if you want to. Uh, appreciate that. You don't want to eat meat, OK? And uh, we include in this package uh, one drink per person. But uh, we made sure that uh, you can choose whatever you want, I mean, almost. Uh, you can choose between beer, you see, one small bottle of beer, uh, <laughs> small water, water, juice, or soft drink. OK, it's up to you. After one, you see, from two ahead, you have to pay. <laughs> they are going to charge you for that. I didn't include here caipirinho, which is very famous here in Brazil. Because, as you know, you can have it, but you have to pay. <laughs> so it's just not to give you, to not stimulate you to drink anyway. But uh, yes, it is there, OK? So be, be ready for that. One drink is for our, in our account. More than that, you sh have to pay. Uh, this is the, the address of the restaurant. For those who are not going with us from here, uh, you can meet us over there. It's really five minutes uh, by car or by bus. So don't worry about that. Uh, poster sessions. Uh, so most of you, uh, I'm very proud of that, uh, have already framed your posters. Uh, if you haven't brought uh, today, you can do that bef uh, tomorrow. Uh, maximum after that, because the idea is to, to leave the posters there, not only for us, but also for the other uh, researchers and the students from the IAG. Okay? So, but uh, remember that uh, July 7 and 8, we are having uh, our poster section. And the idea here is really we divide in two subgroups. So, 
uh, one group can present to the other one. The idea here is that uh, your partner beside you knows what you are doing. You have met her before, and she's from another country. Uh, as you see, we have people from India, from Nepal, from Togo. Togo lost the, his uh, airplane. You know, okay. it's uh, always someone that missed the plane. Uh, but he's coming. He's probably arriving today in the middle of the afternoon. So uh, people like uh, have to talk with each other. No, this is a good opportunity for you to interact and show what you are doing. And uh, all the posters and abstract is going to be in our website. So you have a pen drive afterwards or so during the course. You can download everything you wish. There is no excuse for that. So you can have for yourself. And um, we also provide, there is a PDF in our website, but you have received the, the print format of the profiles. And there you have everything. Uh, the names of the participants at the back of these uh, booklets. You have some uh, white papers, so you can write down some uh, information you want. Yeah? So it, everything is here as well. So have a look. Try to find if someone you know or things like that. So the class materials will be updated and available also in our website. Uh, us, the researchers and our lecturers start, uh, come, probably they provide us with the material we are, we, and uh, then we are going to put over there. So you can also download the materials. Some of them are already there, so you can download prior to the lecture. Uh, but if not, it's going to be there. So be aware of that. Also download for you. Okay? Uh, where we are going to put all this material here, we ju are just providing you a pen drive. So again, no excuse for not having the material. And uh, if you don't want to download, you can write as well. That's why you give you a pen. <laughs> Uh, try to avoid that you say, you see, I, I couldn't write because I didn't have a pen. So it's too heavy. No, but the material, yes, I gave you that. It is in the website. No excuse. You have all the opportunities really to enjoy this school when you are here. And um, at the end of the course, we are going to give you some uh, questionnaire, you know, trying to uh, feel uh, what uh, you feel during this school. So uh, we are going to hand out for you uh, on Friday. So you can take to the hotel and fill in uh, and give it back on the Saturday. Okay? This is quite important because this is, again, are going to be used for our final report of the school. Uh, and the sponsors uh, try to see if it's really people are enjoying, if it's worth to invest a lot of money to bring you here to provide all this infra infrastructure. So please, really fill in. And you can, I'm not going to put there your, you don't need to put your name there, you know? So I just want to see if you, what you have found. Well, uh, and since I'm just finishing, uh, the Saturday, when uh, you are leaving the checkout, some of you are going to have to, sh to check out on the 15th, the other in the 16th, okay? And uh, we are going to provide you some more information about that. But just uh, for those who are going uh, to check out in the 15th, so you have to check out in the morning before you come here. So you do the checkout, leave your bag there, and because the bus is going to bring you here, then go back to the hotel afterwards so you can... Uh, pick your luggage afterwards, okay? Uh, when the, the class finished. So uh, we are going to provide again two minibus uh, to take you to the airport. For those that departure at 1 and 1.30, the minibus are going to leave around 7 p.m. Uh, for those departure in 3 or up to uh, 5 uh, o'clock in the morning, uh, there was another bus to be leaving at 10 p.m. So uh, be there. And the, during the afternoon, I mean, you can do whatever you want to go around. But uh, be there at the hotel. The same thing is going to happen on the Sunday, on the 16th. 
So uh, for those living at between 12 uh, and uh, 1435, there is a bus leaving seven, uh, half past seven in the morning, and the others in the evening, the Sunday, there is another bus leaving at 4.30 uh, p.m. Uh, those that have some really complicated uh, departure times, uh, we are going to, to see if we put you together to go in a taxi to the airport, okay? So, my dear friends, students, and uh, welcome again. Uh, I hope you enjoy the course, and uh, let's break for lunch, and uh, reconvene here at 2 p.m., okay? Please be on time. And uh, who is going to the Institute of Physics with the assistants? Oh, hey, there. Amanda, Amanda is going to there. You can follow her, okay? Uh, I think we, uh, I know you are going to ask. You can leave your stuff over here. We can sh shut the doors so you'll be safe, don't worry. You see, to, to get into the, the institute, you have to pass through the security, so it is safe. But I'm going to make sure that they close the doors and open your pot de Okay? Thank you.